Hey, what's up, everybody? Big Mike back again for Rasslin' Rands and Reviews, and you can tell by the title right up there. We, uh, this is my prediction for the ROH Best in the World pay-per-view that's ready to take place this Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in New York, New York at the Hammerstein Ballroom. This is shaping up to be the best in the world pay-per-view. However, I just noticed, because I wanted to have the card in front of me just in case I missed anything, and you know what? This is fucking pissing me off. I I never noticed it when I looked at this earlier, the, the, the card. But this pisses me off. So I'm going to have to buy this DVD. I was going to anyways. However, there's a dream tag team match. And it's a Darch Mac, Darch Mac, Dark Match DVD exclusive. This match is only going to be seen in New York City for the live audience. It's not going to make it to the uh, pay-per-view. And this sucks because it's Generation Me, also known as Young Bucks from ROH. And they're taking on two up-and-comers that are showing their way uh, very well in ROH, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. <clears throat> now, these four guys are going to put on one fuck of a match, but guess what? We're going to have to buy the DVD to see it. Which is fine by me, but it's fuck those balls. That's super big balls. You know? I was I was really looking forward to this match once I seen it on the site here. <clears throat> like right on, it's gonna be fucking great. But no, I'm not gonna see it. But I'm gonna take Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly as the victors in that match. Even though I'm gonna have to wait to get the DVD to fucking see it. So, anyways. Starting off, I guess hopefully this is how it's gonna start off. I don't know how it's gonna start off, but in singles action, we got Cole Cabana taking on Thomas Ochampa of the Embassy. And I'm sure the Embassy will be ringside. And, you know, they're going to try and make Thomas O a victor. And Thomas O's had a pretty good showing. Um, I think he beat Cole Cabana, actually, at the center stage. Uh, I always take center stage night one or two. I can't remember. But I think he beat Cole. So I think this is going to be Cole's turn to get some revenge on Thomas O here. And uh, he's going to fucking stretch him and put him in some funky-ass maneuvers like only Colt Cabana can. And uh, he's going to come out the victor. I'm going to say Colt Cabana to be the victor. And then next we got an old bar street fight with the uh, Notorious 187 Homicide versus Rhino. That's right. The Man Beast Rhino is making his way to ROH and he's going to hang out with the Embassy Prince Nana and... Uh, this just might be a no-no, because I still think Homicide being Homicide and being ROH faithful, he's he's a mean motherfucker. I know Rhino is too, but uh, I think we're going to see Homicide over Rhino in this street fight. It's going to be uh, hard-hitting. It's going to be fucking, I don't know, it's just it's going to be really good. But we're going to see Homicide. Over Rhino. Um, the embassy so far is 0 for 2. And that's how they're going to end up, I believe. Moving on, we have the prodigy Mike Bennett. He's probably going to have Big Bad Brutal Bob uh, in his corner. And he's going to take on the returning Jay Lethal. That's right. Jay Lethal is making his return to the best in the world in ROH on this iPay per view. And you know what? I have to go with Lethal. But they're pushing this fucking Mike Bennett guy to the tits. You know, he does have some, you know, um, something about him that proves that he can be a star in ROH, but he can't bring Jay Lethal back and job him. You know, the place will fucking riot. So I'm going to go with Jay Lethal um, over the prodigy Mike Bennett in this match. Come on. Lethal should be able to take the victory on this. If not, oh my god. Um, I don't know. Um, special challenge match, uh, number one or number two, whatever. Um, Steve Carino with his, uh, with his new, uh, what do you call it, pledge? You know, whatever this guy is. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Jacobs, anyways. He's going to be Steve Carino or Jimmy Jacobs versus Michael Elgin and Truth Martini. Now, 
Steve Carino's been saying that he's got someone else in mind and in store because they need that extra backup because not only will Elgin have Truth Martini in his back pocket, but he has Roderick Strong and Christopher Daniels as well. So to even up the score, sounds like he may have someone else in store for the House of Truth. And that person, rumor, the rumor has it, it's Kevin Steen. But then again, I don't know. You know, if it's, if it's not Kevin Steen, I don't know who it would be, but it better be someone better than Jimmy Jacobs. Because Steve Carino was saying, you know, he, had this, he has this new pledge, or whatever this guy's, you know, this guy. Um, you know, he, before he revealed Jimmy Jacobs, it sounded like it was going to be Steen then. You know, it's Jimmy Jacobs. No, but no big deal. You know, Jimmy Jacobs is very good too, but Steen? It's got to be Steen. Come on. Steve Carino, Jimmy Jacobs, is Steen? Yeah, come on. You know, we got to see it. But who's going to be the victor? Steve Carino or Michael Elgin? Um, I'm going to go with Elgin. I'm not just because he's my boy. I have a huge mark for him. Um, but uh, I'm going to go with Elgin. Yeah, most definitely. Um, Elgin's going to get the victor, be the victor in this match. Uh, we got a World TV title match. Christopher Daniels also with Truth Martini, House of Truth. Defending against Al Generico. Um, hmm. I don't know what's going to happen here, really. Um, this match is too... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know who to go with in this match. I don't really want to see Daniels drop the title. Personally, and I can see El Generico winning finally, but uh, I don't know. I think you'll see Daniels win. I think we'll see Daniels win. He's still going to be a TV champ when he walks out. So, uh, sorry about your damn luck, El Generico. But, uh, yeah, Christopher Daniels will walk away with the world TV title. Still around his waist. Next, we have a world tag team title four-way elimination match. Whew, was that a mouthful. Now, this is going to be a match for the ages as well, because you got wrestling's greatest tag team, Charlie Haas and Sean Benjamin, the champions, defending against the kings of wrestling, Hirio, Hirio, <laughs> Hirio, yeah, might as well call him Hirio, fuck. Chris Hero, Hero, the Claudio Castagnoli versus the All Night Express versus the Briscoes. I think, I don't know. I can't see Charlie Haas and Benjamin losing yet. I really can't. But if it, I don't know, I'm going to go on a limb here and I'm going to say the All Night Express are going to be victors. Yes, I know it's out there when you got, you know, J. Mark Briscoe looking to be seven-time ROH Tag Team Champions. You know, you got the Kings of Wrestling trying to get revenge, you know, for Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team were beating their almost one-year reign of Tag Team Champions. Um, and then you got Charlie Haas and Sean Benjamin, you know. Um, I don't know. But I'm going to go on a limb here. It's the All Night Express, Rhett Titus and Kenny King coming out of victory. Um, if they don't, then I think the straps will stay around the waist of the world's greatest tag team and wrestling's greatest tag team. And in the main event, ROH World Title Match, Eddie Edwards versus Davey Richards. The American Wolves versus the American Wolves. Um, now this is another one I don't know what to say. Just because my mind, I can just go, okay, Davey Richards is going to win. Because I want him to win. But... At the same time, I try to think, well, if Eddie wins, yada, yada, yada. Because everybody expects Davey to win. He fucking finally has to win, right? That's why I think that he won't win. So, I don't know. Um, Davey's got to win. Dave, I'm going with Davey. You know? Um, yeah, 
Just because I think he subtly told me that he was going to win too. What do you mean he told you? Well, this past weekend at an indie show uh, that I was part of, he was on the card as well. He fought Michael Elgin. You can check it out at classic-championship-wrestling.com. I don't know if it's in the results yet or not, but you can see it. That was at Lamington Fair. <clears throat> but anyways, I was talking to him. And uh, when I left, you know, to say, hey, you know, see you later. I uh, just shook his hand. I said, next world champ. And he kind of just gave me a look and said, I don't know. But that look was almost saying, yeah, you know, but I don't want to tell you because keep it kayfabe. So maybe he knows already, maybe he don't. But maybe I read too much into it. But I'm going to say Davey Richards. But I know one thing. It's worth the 15 fucking dollars. If your fucking cheap asses aren't ordering this pay-per-view or sharing it with a friend, there's something wrong with you guys. Seriously. You're going to go out and spend the money on fucking WWE pay-per-views? Well, you don't even do that anymore. Nobody does. Everybody streams it, right? But if you can't spend 15 bucks <laughs> to check out ROH, real wrestling action, there's something wrong with you. This is a must-see pay-per-view. Um, not just because it's Ring of Honor, but just because it's wrestling. You know, this is going to be fucking off-the-wall, fucking insane wrestling. So, uh, I don't know. Get it. Hopefully my predictions are right. If not, meh, whatever. You know, had fun making the video and talking about ROH. And, uh, yeah. So until then, it's Big Mike for Wrestling Rants Reviews. I'll see you on this flip side. <laughs>